What's up, guys? It's been a while since I did a lesson online, but I received a question from brhed07 via Instagram, and he asks, I've been trying to do the Rosanna Shuffle for more than a year now, but I just can't do it because it is syncopated. What advice can you give? First of all, what are shuffles? Shuffles are triplets without the p. What are triplets? Triplets are three notes spread out evenly within one beat. For example, if your downbeats are one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, your triplets are triple, 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 three notes spread out evenly, okay, within one beat. Now, your shuffles are your triplets without the p. Okay, so if these are your triplets, triple, 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 trip, your shuffles are trip, let 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 trip. Now, I'd like you to place your master hand over your other hand and move in this motion, sort of like a seesaw kind of motion. Now, once you understand the mechanics of a movement, you will start to realize how easy it is to execute the shuffle, okay? Now, if you notice, if these are your triplets, triple, let, triple, let, triple, let, trip, the shuffle that I'm doing with my master hand, the trip falls on the base of my palm and the let falls on the tip of my fingers. Triple, let, 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 trip. Triple, let, 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 trip. Now I like you to pick up the drumsticks, position it at the hi hat, and move it at that seesaw motion. You will notice that this shoulder of the drumstick falls on the trip, and the tip of the drumstick falls on the let. Similar to this movement. Triple, let, triple, let, triple, let, trip. Triple, let, triple, let, triple, let, trip. Even the drumsticks looks like a seesaw. Triple, let, 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 trip. Now, if I accelerate that movement, you'll see how easy it is to execute the shuffle. Now, before we carry on, i like to say don't worry if you're not at your drum set or if you don't have one. You still can practice this at home. Just imagine your right thigh to be the hi-hat and your left thigh to be the snare drum. i like to call this the Rosanna Halftime Shuffle 5 Steps Program. There are many elements that make the Rosanna Halftime Shuffle. I'll introduce them as we go along, but now let's concentrate on getting the shuffle on the hi-hat solid first. We'll play them from 80 BPM to 160 BPM with each set playing it for eight bars. So let's go. One, two, three, four, one. Two, feel the triplets. Three, four. Feel the shuffle. Five. It's all in the wrist. Six. Seven. Eight. Two. Three. Four. A hundred BPM. One. Two. Three. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, last, two, three, four, one hundred and twenty BPM. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last, two, three, four, a hundred and forty. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last, two, three, four, one hundred and sixty, one, two, three, four, one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last two, three, four. Ah, well done. On to the next stage. Now that we are familiar with the shuffle pattern on the hi-hat, let's introduce the ghost notes on the snare on the per of the triplet. Now the ghost notes are to be played with the softest of touch, like this. All you have to do is just tap it lightly. So if this is your shuffle, the ghost notes come in between the triplets. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Triple let 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 trip. Again, we'll play this from 80 BPM till 160 BPM, and we'll play each set for eight bars. One, two, three, four, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Last two, three, four, a hundred BPM. One, two, three, four, one. Remember, tap the ghost notes. Two, three. Four, tap it. Five, tap the ghost note. Six, seven, eight, two, three, four, a hundred and twenty. One, two, three, four, one. Tap the ghost notes, all right? Three, four, tap it. Five, six, seven, Last two, three, four, a hundred and forty. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last two, three, four, a hundred and sixty. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, two, three, four. Ah, uh. on to the next stage. Now we're at the third stage, and in this third stage, we'll add the foot. Now the foot is playing the bow diddly beat. What is the bow diddly beat? The bow diddly beat is this: a one, two, a one, two, three, four. So now we'll play the shuffle on the hi-hat and add the bow delay foot pattern. Just these two elements. We'll play them from 80 BPM and move it to 160 BPM. Again, playing each set for eight bars. One, two, three, four. A hundred BPM. One, two, three, four. Move your body if you have to. It helps you uh, with the swing and the shuffle. Hundred and twenty. One, two, three, four. Mm, 
you can sing out the uh, bow diddly. A hundred and forty one, two, three, four. If you can sing it, you can play it. A hundred and sixty one, two, three, four. Well done. On to the next stage. So now we're at the fourth stage. And in this fourth stage, we'll include three elements. We'll play the shuffle on the hi-hat, the ghost notes, and the bow diddly kick pattern. Again, we'll play it from 80 BPM and move it up till 160 BPM with each set playing it for eight bars. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Hundred and twenty one, two, three, four. Hundred and forty one, two, three, four. Hundred and sixty one, two, three, four. Next stage, well done. Congratulations, you're at the final stage. Now, for this final stage, I need you to accent the snare on the third beat. Now, because of the accented snare on the third beat, you need to play a diddle to achieve the ghost note after that. For example, triplet, triplet, triplet. Understand this movement. Unison, tap, hi-hat. Unison, tap, hi-hat. In all, what's happening on top? One. One. Three. One. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Okay? We'll do the Rosanna halftime shuffle groove. We'll start slow from 80 BPM and move up finally to 160 BPM. Let's go! One, two, three, four. Well done, hundred, one, two, three, four. A 
120. One, two, three, four. Hundred and forty one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now in closing, I'd like to say you got to put in the hours. If there's something that you've been wanting to play but still haven't gotten around to be able to play it yet, maybe it's because you haven't been practicing it long enough. You got to slowly take your time in breaking down that groove, that fill-in or whatever you're trying to play, right? Nothing happens overnight. You got to put in the hours, practice, practice, practice and practice. As cliche as it may sound, it's true. Please do subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know if this video has helped you in one way or another. And please don't hesitate to ask me questions as well. I would love to answer them as much as I can. I also offer one-on-one -on -one lessons and one-on-one -on -one online lessons as well. If you're interested, email me at brandonkoo at gmail.com or you can message me on my social media platforms. Till the next time, take care guys.